What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to Furry Fury. You already knew this was happening, man. How could it not? If you don't know what this game is, I did a full first impression on it and I am beyond impressed for a lot of reasons. And one of the main reasons being you can't pay to be good at this game. You can only buy cosmetics. If you lose in this game, it's because you got outplayed. And if I win in this game, it's because I did good. I got better. All of that. I'm having a blast with it, man. And we're going to dive into three matches. All killer, no filler. This is bite size PvP back in full form. If you haven't seen the format, sit back, relax. And also, I made a new intro. So uh, if you have epilepsy, avert your eyes for a second. But let's dive into this. All right, man, first victim up on the chopping block is Dance Commander A. He's rocking with the card to look over here, man. I'm vibing with his intro screen, but here we are, man. We're going to be doing a 1v1, a 2v2, and a 1v1 for the layout for this one. For now, we'll see how that goes, man. Um, just, I want to mix it up, and they are all going to be ranked. And we have no bounce. I have not played this character yet. We have no speed. We didn't even move off this. Uh, this what is this guy? The snowman over here. Does he slow people down? He doesn't roll too well and slows down everyone who hits him. That's that's the answer there. Hey, he hit me with a hello. I wonder if he knows me. That'd be that'd be pretty wild stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm not like in uh, please know me territory right now with the channel, but hey, either way, man. Uh, we're going to bounce this way and kind of fling towards him and pick up both these health potions at the same time. I'm kind of vibing. So this character, once I get a couple of these rage potions in, uh, I'm going to be stealth completely. So actually, I just completely missed him, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to win. But... Uh, I stealth myself completely, so in this little cloud, it doesn't matter when he if he's like this close. I did, he missed me. It does matter apparently. He can't see my location while I see this cloud. He doesn't even know where this cloud is. Um, it kind of keeps people from like they have to remember exactly where I was to actually hit me, which is a beautiful mechanic. Uh, once I get my next rage meter, which we're gonna gun for right now, I'm gonna gun for some rage potions to get my DPS up. Um, we're gonna get a lightning strike AOE around us. We actually just messed him up a little bit, and he came back for a little bit of a vengeance. He should know exactly where I am. We're going to find out. Um, he's kind of looking in a weird direction. He hit me with the ARG. I don't know if he knows where I am. The stealth mechanic might be coming in clutch, but that's how it goes, man. Um, we're going to have a lightning AOE around us, basically. He just took three damage to the face from his own snowman and another hit from a maggot. That man had a horrible turn. We got to be very careful not to roll ourselves right into this ball. I think it's going to hit us if we bounce straight into it. And I don't want to risk that. What I do want to do is kind of push him towards it if we can afford to. I don't think we can. I think what we do instead is go ahead and grab a couple of these rage potions and just vibe out for a second. Let him do his thing. We almost caught him with that, but he did take two maggot shots. We're invisible. If he hits us directly, we do go into another rage potion. And that puts us one step closer to Thunderstorm. So right now, around us, we are leaving a cloud close by. Is this one right here that is going to do a lightning storm on anyone that is in it, aside from myself, obviously. So in 2v2, both enemies, if they're in it, whatever the case may be. Um, Hold on a second. This is a, this is a weird situation, right? It's a very weird situation. What if I hit him like this? What do you think happens? I do want to go for this rage potion. I want to get this thunderstorm all the way up because my third skill upgrades my blind. Uh, upgrades the, uh, the area of the cloud and the blind. So we're basically going to be invisible forever and going to be zapping anyone anywhere nearby once I get this third skill unlocked with the Rage Potion. We didn't get to it and we ran out of roll, but he might push us into it right now. He did not. He pushed us away kind of to safety, but I'm chill with it. We don't need safety right now. What we need to do is push this snowman right into him and we're going to do so. So we're going to make sure we ricochet just right. We're going to hit this chest up here possibly. It did slow us down enough to where we didn't, but that maggot's about to hit him. He's down to 2 HP. He is in the darkness right now. He needs to get that guy out of there. He can't stay over there. He's barely out of it, so he didn't take damage. But he he's in the darkness right now. So the, uh, the what, what are those games called again? The, uh, the Battle Royale kind of cloud. We just hit him back. He's at 1 HP. It's over for him, man. I mean, there was nothing. There was, I mean, there was coming back, but not like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, put him out of his misery. Call that a day. Move on to our two v two. Best of luck to you next time. Hit him with the didn't see that coming. Yikes. All right, man. It is me and uh, Meta versus me and Vlad Green. I don't know how to say any of that, man. My dyslexia kicked in, and also I think they had dyslexia when they chose their names. We're in here 2v2 to up, and we are the werewolf who I just got now. I haven't played him yet, and we're going to find out what he's all about, man. I know he transforms. He just took three damage off. The, I think his partner shoved him into the wall and just made him take three damage instantly. 
That is the worst thing that could happen to him. Now, I'm going to do something a little cheeky. I'm going to bounce upward for this uh, for this Rage Potion, because the more Rage I get with the Werewolf, the closer I get to transforming into someone that does double damage, has more HP, is a bigger in size, and we just shoved his man into the wall again. Another three hit. Who cares if he got one potion? The man is down bad right now. And we also have our first skill available. Uh, so I want to get to this transformation. I need five more rage, seven total to transform and start nuking out. My first skill is on right now. And now every time I hit an enemy, I'm going to have plus one damage. So if I combo up and hit two people, I am going to be destroying. So I'm going to try and do that. Let's see if I can bounce into both of them right here, right now. Uh, there is a way, I believe, if I do it just like this, just like that. Let's see if my partner leaves us alone. He did. I got the double damage off. I did take three. But that was a lot of DPS, and we're still fine. They're they're in a position of being screwed, and honestly, the worst they can do to us right now is push us into the wall and get us back to safety. So we're fine. Uh, he's up there. We are down to six HP, so we're you know we're lower than we want to be. He did a lot of damage to us. I was I'm a little impressed by his attack stat. I wasn't aware it was gonna hit us that hard. But it doesn't matter at the end of the day. I do think we're going to be okay. I would love to get whatever is in this uh, this box right here. So let's see if we can manage that. Uh, see if we can get just right. And that looks good. We're going to see if we can grab whatever's in there. We did not. We saved ourselves off of the wall. Thank God. But there is a focus potion that's going to give us increased aim and speed by three. That's going to increase our like how fast we go, which is going to increase our bounces as well. And also it's going to give us and a skull destroyed it. It was going to give us a longer aim meter. That dude's going to take a little bit of damage off of the uh, the curse from us having all the skulls to ourselves. And we're going to take this rage meter and we're going to kind of bounce around and try and hit this fool up. I think that's the best course of action. We're also going to try and catch that rage potion as well. We should be transformed after we do so. We are not, but we just hit that man twice. So to be honest, that was just as dirty of a round as it gets. We got the kill off the curse. This is looking beautiful. My teammate is a gorgeous player. We didn't get hit. Thank God. That's a ghost over there. Um, I don't know what ghosts actually do. Uh, does not collide. At the end of each turn, deal one damage to all non-friendly creatures with that he intersects with. So, like, if I get hit by him, I'm going to take one damage is all. Okay. So, I mean, he's basically another character. That sucks. But it's fine. It's fine. How do I want to hang with this? The honest answer is my teammate's going to fling into him, right? So, I want to fling this skull right into him as well. I'm going to fling it directly down if I can. We're going to see if we can make that pop. Um, and it didn't work out, but he still took the three damage. Uh, he got flung straight down into the wall, which maybe I should have checked. But either way, we still almost caught him with it. And if we had caught him with it, it would have been lethal. So I'm fine with the play. It didn't work out, but sometimes them's the breaks. My partner caught him with a dirty wall hit and we are about to get hit as well. And he's a little in safety from where we're at, but... He's not going to be for long. There's plenty of things we can do as far as getting the heck down there. I just have to be very careful about doing so because the last thing I want to do is get myself caught out and run into these walls. You know what I'm saying? So I want to bounce perfect and see if I can catch a perfect ricochet off the wall and head his direction right now. And it looks like we didn't catch it. It's fine. Uh, he's screwed either way. A rough couple of uh, two turns for me out of that one. But to be honest, we carried the early game. And now this dude has no chance anyways. Like, what's he going to do to come back? He has two HP, right? It's it's already over. So we're just we're gonna get the lethal shot as well. That's that's actually funny. Uh, well, let's see if we can bounce this uh, skull into him real quick. That would be the dirtiest way to end this. Uh, it looks like we have a perfect shot at him. We're gonna do so. Easy money. Goodbye, buddy. I uh, I apologize for everything that just happened to Vlad Green over here. I'm sure you're a wild uh, player, but sometimes you get caught out. Sometimes you get down bad. And my partner Uga Booga Booga over here. Oh no, Matt. He wasn't the weird name. Mm, yeah, I came in close. Look at his nose though. We're going against Sponge, Sponge, Scrout. I don't know how to say your people's names, bro. You, you guys come up with some wild gamer tags. I vibe with it. I vibe with it. But we actually get the first turn as well. And we are playing the Totem King himself. So let's see if we can make something pop with that. Now I'm aware I can knock him away. However, it's almost pointless. Maybe hitting him with this rock would be perfect if I can muster it. But I got to make sure I don't screw myself in the process. See if we can make that pop off. Did it hit him? It did. And we almost hit him again, which would have been hilarious. But we did set ourselves up to get hit with a rock shot ourselves. It's okay. We did a lot of damage to him. Um, he might, he looks like he's heading a different direction from where you would expect. He's aiming up. And he did, he caught us with the rock. It's fine. We actually ran into a rage potion as well. So we are officially, what, what does our first skill do? Okay, it's going to summon our totem. So this is going to, if we run in, well, hold on a second. At the end of our turn, so we have to, oh, whoops. Um, I, I disagree. Maybe I, I didn't run out of time either. I don't like that is, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it registered that as a double tap and like I just randomly went. He hit me with the thanks, which is actually correct, but I definitely wasn't anywhere near my character to drag and you can't just drag anywhere to move. 
I'm a, maybe double tapping is like an auto fire button or something crazy like that. I have no idea. But I'm not going to find out in this round. I mean, uh, hear me out real quick. If I drag here, I actually don't get to choose where I go. And if I let go, it doesn't just move me. I have to drag. So I don't know what that was. But it doesn't matter. Um, It's all good. This is version 0.99. It, there's a reason they didn't call it version 1. I'm sure they're expecting problems. I'm cool with it, man. Let's push him down into this wall real quick and all these maggots and get right back into this match. He's down to 6 HP out of nowhere. He has another maggot coming his way and our totem's on the ground. That is going to buff my attack when I hit it, but only for that turn. I, that is my first skill, so I got to make sure I'm running into that from now on. Bouncing off of it and making my trick shots off of that mechanic right there. He just got double rage potion. What does the second skill do? Increases his aim. That's nasty, especially because the more he bounces, the more damage he does. But we're about to do more damage to him right now. We're going to make sure we bounce right into this Rage Potion as well and kind of call that a good uh, good turn. We're going to hit him for the two. We're going to bounce right back into him for another two. We took three, but he took four. Kind of a bad trade in for being my turn, but I'll still take it, man. I'll still take it. The, that bounce off the wall was not something I was expecting. He's going to hit me with the dodge of this. There's no way he kills me right here. He's going to try and push me into a maggot in a wall, but I'm protected by this bounce shot. Like, I bounce off this, and I could kill him if I bounce off it and hit him again. So he's got to be real careful about where he goes from here. We ended up getting the kill either way. That poor, poor man. He hit a maggot in transit, and that is that for bite size pvp hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy it go ahead and click that like button but you know me only if you really liked it and if you vibe with me then subscribe with me i got you covered on uh, two videos a day on the best hidden gems a three today if i can get a first impression out on the mobile marketplace hands down let's see what we get out of our little cosmetic chest we just uh got for our troubles we got uh, by the power of gray skull what hold on a second we got the he-man quotes popping out for no reason and it is absolutely going to be right there you got me messed up you think we're not using it as our victory sir where hold on it's not a victory quote is it it's not a victory quote we'll figure something out man i wish it was but either way man uh we we hold what, what are we replacing let's replace the still alive let's roll you'll regret that sorry let's replace the let's roll with this right here man uh how 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 do i do so how do i do so bro take me away take me away bro i don't actually uh, how is someone explain what am I doing wrong, <laughs> bro? Is it is it like a rarity thing? I don't actually know how to do this now that I look at it. Um, hold on a second. What if I drag it up? What if I what if I do? What? So help! You know, I'm gonna figure this out off camera. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.